Good morning, folks. We had an M-class solar flare yesterday. We've got an update on the solar cycle, a weird earthquake, and three top articles to review. We will start with our star and find the large coronal hole crossing center disk. Primary portion of the earthquake watch we discussed yesterday has begun and will last through its track through the earth-facing half. The solar flare erupted from one of the sunspots just cresting over the limb, that flash over on the side there. It and several other sunspots are turning in right now while a smaller group on the north is also developing as it enters the departing quadrant up there. The next earthbound space weather is coming from that coronal hole and is due to arrive Tuesday or Wednesday, sparking minor to moderate geomagnetic storm activity. We'll have eyes on it. Solar cycle progress update here. While things have stabilized for a few months in between the 5.9 month cycle upticks, we are still well above the predicted values for this cycle. Sunspot maximum is on our doorstep and is expected to arrive over the coming couple of years with the next 5.9 month cycle peak coming in February or March. Its half cycle mini uptick, by the way, is expected later this month. Weird place for a five pointer here. This earthquake occurred just a few hours ago don't see many of them in this part of Africa. Good paper here on the opposite effects of Dansgaard Oshker events and Heinrich events. The first one being a heat event that weakens the monsoon, the second being a cold event that strengthens it. The 1500 year Dio cycle and 6000 year Heinrich cycle are the big millennial scale climate events with each dwarfing what they call modern climate change in severity. Up next, we have a direct observation of solar forcing of the climate. In this paper, they painstakingly reviewed the 2005 energetic particle event effect on the stratosphere. They discovered a 2,000% increase in conductivity due to the impact, and this has further impacts on the surface climate below via ozone modulation and global electric circuit impact to the clouds, atmospheric electricity, and joule heating overall. Lastly, folks, in that same vein, they have found a significant impact of Earth's magnetic field on the North Atlantic Oscillation via direct surface pressure modulation by energetic particles. The changes in Earth's field have a direct impact on various aspects of this, notably the galactic cosmic rays and impact through the troposphere where what we call weather unfolds. These last two papers have both pushed at the solar particle forcing and the impact of the weakening magnetic field on climate condition the things currently left out of all climate models. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about the unseen aspects of climate science and the weakening magnetic field of Earth with our playlists and our books. Also check out Observer Ranch or book your one-on-one -on -one call, all with the links in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.